This was the first mistake Cedric by Kane Russell and Netherlands were on it like a flash. Well, definitely, you know, uh, Huda Marcus intercepted that ball and played the ball across. And Terry Brickman had all the time in the world to just get his body into position and smash it past Dixon. All three of them, Cohen Bayern, Huda Marcus and Thierry Brinkman. What a game they've played today, helping each other get better. I think the most important ball in that goal was the vision tick, dink over the flat stick over Russell and then Brinkman has all the time in the world to flick that ball home. But brilliant stuff. Doug Devil there it was who found Sevi Vanas. Sevi Vanas did beat Dixon. But uh, the second touch was not good enough. Nothing wrong with this touch, though. Marvellous by Cohen Bayern. Well, he had all the time in the world, but his marker is a stick in the air, not close enough, and Bayern does a fabulous job by just flicking, deflecting the ball from the top of the circle. This hit and miss was actually, the first touch was the most important thing. Terry Brinkman then it was with uh, this opportunity but you have to give credit to Charlie Morrison brave defending by him Leon Hayward it was in goal in the third quarter Terry Brinkman thought he'd scored Cedric but wasn't to be well then the last goal was a brilliant goal because Hodema gets that ball Marcus gets that ball really well lovely pass he gets in front of his defender and then just tips the ball over the goal goalkeeper into the goal it was a perfect start for the Netherlands. It could have been a perfect end. Cohen Bayern tried his best, just could not get that on target. Fabulous attempt, diving towards the ball to deflect that ball that goes over. Shots at goal, 12 for Netherlands, 3 for New Zealand. I think the most important thing is look at the circle penetrations. Why didn't they get more shots at goal? This is what I'm trying to say with teams. And it came back to the simple situation that the final pass has to be better. Michael Absalom is ready with the post-match presentation ceremony and we'll head down to him now.